I'm Purdy Bauman. I'm Heather Lang. I'm Anna Marticello. And we are the creators of Simulation. I produced and directed Simulation. And I produced, directed, choreographed, and conceived Simulation. And I choreographed and conceived Simulation. Purdy and I, we've been friends since we were teenagers, and we've lived in New York City. I mean, we've been here 25 years, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. We've done all the giglets. Yes. Gig. We were Rockettes together. Yes. And Broadway, we've done commercials, we've done opera, we've done experimental, we've done movies, movies TV. We've done it all. Yes. And it was really time have. for us to make something. Mm -hmm. So the end of summer 2022, I had a workshop for my group of dancers called the Serafinas, and I invited Heather Lang to come and choreograph a piece on the Serafinas. And we loved her piece so much that we both said, let's let's do more with this, let's film it, let's make it a little more elevated, let's costume it. It started off as sort of this like, you know, exploratory project and then here we are all of a sudden going, wait, we know people in the fashion world, we want to explore this side of ourselves more and then we started to mm -hmm. and then the whole thing started snowballing. Yes. And that was what was so powerful and kind of it just so humbling and incredible was this experience of like, oh wow, we actually have this huge community of people we know because we were originally gonna shoot it on the iPhone. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, okay. And then your relationship to Norma Kamali. I emailed Norma Kamali six times to no avail. <laughs> I knew somewhere in there, there was someone who was lending clothes for special projects. And so I finally got this one email address that led me to this person, Marissa, who said incredible, yes. incredible, who said, I love this idea. And do you wanna wear Norma Kamali exclusively? Mm -hmm. And that was when we died Yes. and knew that this project was going to be more yes. than just us in iPhone. the studio with an iPhone. Yeah, yes. yeah. Finding the location was really important for us yes. and we have a very small budget because we are self-funding it. You were sending me inspiration photos and I was like, oh my gosh, I have a friend who lives in this building in Brooklyn and she keeps telling me that we need to film something in there. I sent it to you guys and you were like, you were like, yeah. that's, um, that would be the dream space. Because so much of the spirit of what we were trying to create was about community and coming together. It felt very kismet and beautiful that the location, the fashions, these were all coming to us through our community. So yes. the actual structure of producing the film was also imbued with that same sense of reciprocity. Simulation is a love letter. It's a homage to nightclub, nightlife. The club was a, is, is a space for me that's a deep, deep, uh, spiritual place it's a sanctuary and it saved me so I wanted to make something that was kind of a little tip of the hat to the nightclub to fashion back to our friendship about fashion we love it it's political it's powerful um, we wanted a love letter to Roisin Murphy who's a just an incredible underground house music artist also a fashion person and we also wanted to make a homage to the dance world and the community so kind of like a culmination of all these things and sort of the sacredness of coming together and the ritual of coming together. You know, I really wanted something that was very movement based, you know, and not a narrative. So, and, and that's the, the cool thing about dance. It has this like power to like say things words can't, yeah. like fashion and, you know, even the environment, all those things. And so just to say with the dance, it was just like, I felt so lucky of all these different people in the dance community willing to offer their services and their artistry and they're all coming together and and just to have that it, it was again i'm just so blown away and um grateful i mean a very privileged challenge to have was that like we said it started it had fairly humble beginnings but then we were blessed with all of these gems so then it was like Okay, well, if we have like enormous fashions, then it has to be a certain tier. If we have yes. this rich, rich camera, then it has to be like yes. this wild location. So I think it was this dance of like we were receiving p production elements that were like beyond our budget, really, because they were gifts, which is beautiful. But then it was like we have we have to meet them. It was just mm -hmm. a little bit of a calibration a of a challenge. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was ambitious. The experience of making this film with some of my closest friends has just, it's really been a beautiful, powerful experience. It's opened my eyes to film filmmaking because we are first time filmmakers and I hope we can continue this journey and continue making work. We have tons of ideas in the incubator. All the pots are cooking right now and it's a very exciting time with a lot of energy and I just, um, it's just been a really powerful moment and um, yeah, we're just so excited to be a part of this festival.
we hope that you can feel the joy and sense of community that we made this project in. I hope you love simulation as much as we do.